one thing about Ernie Ball that I can always remember was it was the packages that your eye immediately went to because of the colors. Funny enough, when I first started playing electric guitar, I got flat wound strings because they didn't squeak. It took a while to, to, to realize that the squeaking is part of what makes it cool. They said, what kind of string should we put on it? And I just looked at the brightest colored package and I said, that one. And uh, I didn't know what, what to pick. <laughs> it was the same thing. <laughs> That's genius. Yeah. Ernie Ball was attractive. I mean, they just saw the package and it looked cool. And I remember, you know, I bought my first, it was green slinkies, right? Just got those, put them on, great strings. When our band kind of like, you know, started getting endorsements, I went with you guys because there's no other strings I play. I've always played Ernie Balls. They have a great even sound and I'm not breaking them, which is good because I, I put them to the test. I remember being probably around 16 or 17 and buying a pack of Ernie Ball strings um, purely based on, you know, the, the packaging and the artwork and not knowing what else to buy. And that's what I went for. They're going to sound great. They're going to stay in tune. They're certainly not breaking. And it's really the last thing that you have to worry about on stage, which is awesome.